Hi, this is Cheryl and Jim from Packing House Gallery and I Love Enamels. Today I'm going to share with you how to use frit with your little copper shapes. So basically you'll need a um, couple of little trivets, trivets of your choice. I use four prong diamond trivets. Whatever you have will work. You need your little um, tray that you'll be putting into the kiln itself. A couple little paint brushes. little sifter. I use these little uh, metal trays to capture my enamels couple little shapes. Today we're going to be working with a cute little football since it's football season. Need a little bit of wet dry sandpaper, a little tile, some frit, any color of your choice. Today I'm going to be using football colors because somebody requested that they see them so we're going to use football colors with the base. Uh, there's three different types of medium that you can use if you uh, would like to add your frit. You can use hairspray, gum solution, or kiln fire. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that later, but I just want to show you what items you'll need to get started. The first part of cleaning your copper shapes, you're simply going to lay them on your metal rack. Get your little safety gloves on or pot holders, whatever you use. And you're going to put these in the kiln. I like to keep mine in there about three or four minutes. Right now the kiln is about... Um, 1330. Um, this will be a great temperature to clean your metal. Right now I have my kiln set at 1360. So we'll wait a couple minutes. What this does, it helps burn some of the fire scale. And what we're going to do in a few minutes, we'll be taking these out of the kiln and putting them into water. And the water will help get the fire scale off the fronts and back and the side, which will be demonstrated in a minute. Okay, now it's been in there for about three minutes. I'm going to very carefully take them out. And as you can see, they're very black, a little bit orange color. That's the way they should be. I'm going to put them right in the water. Sounds like we just cooked steak. I'm going to leave these in the water for a couple minutes, and we'll come back in a minute to tell you what's next. Okay, it's been three minutes. Now our items are nice and cool. The tray is good to the touch. And you can see that they're yucky and black. And you can see the back has got some black fire scale on there too. Not to worry. You see all that down there? That's all the yucky fire scale. Fire scale is not our friend in this situation. So what you're going to do is just rub them off a little bit with your fingers. And then we'll move to the next part. Okay, now we've uh, taken them out of the water. I'm going to take a little bit of Penny Brett with a uh, little brush. Just brush a little bit on. Penny Bright is all natural material. There are no chemicals in Penny Bright. So I don't have to worry about wearing gloves or getting poisoning. Works really good. Doesn't need to be perfect. There we go. Clean enough. So now I'm just going to rinse it off a little bit. And your pieces are now ready to enamel.